Welcome back to your live continuing coverage of CES 2015 on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Arsis. Thanks so much for joining us. I want to tell you about Amp Live. You know, we do this amazing live show and you're enjoying it and we're proving to the world together that positive content is what people want. They want to be uplifted, informed, inspired, and I can't thank you enough for watching. Most of the way we reach you is through word of mouth and through marketing to you, and we spend a lot of time marketing, syndicating, and doing all sorts of stuff. So if you want to find out how to do this, how to get the word out about your company, how to market and distribute, if you're doing a live broadcast, you've got to get with our boys at liveamp.us. Uh, Amp Live, sorry, amplive.us. They are amazing. I love them, they're phenomenal, and they help us reach you. They can help you reach people around the globe. It's phenomenal. Check out amplive.us. They're our boys. Tell them Be Terrific sent you. They'll take great care of you, and they help spread the word about Be Terrific. We can't say enough good things about them. We love them so much. Amplive.us. You've got to get with Amp Live. We love them. All right. We've got something that I love wearables. Tracks your health, monitors your health, keeps you updated. Matt. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks very much for having me on. Tell me all about this new technology you guys have. Absolutely, so Stone Crisis is an intelligent health and fitness smartphone app and wearable activity tracker. So you, the user tells Stone Crisis what his or her health goal is, whether it be gain five pounds of muscle, lose 10 pounds of fat, anything on the health improvement spectrum. And Stone Crisis learns how foods, activities, sleep, and metabolism affect their unique physiology. Based upon their goal, and based upon what Stone Crisis learns about them, Stone Crisis tells the user how much to eat, what to eat, when to eat, how much activity to do, the types of activity to do, and what their sleeping patterns are. I, 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 people, some people would say this is too much information. I love it. I want more data. I want to be able to look through that data and figure out. I've been wearing a Jawbone Up24 for a few weeks now, sure. and I really like the feedback I'm getting from it. I like the motivation. I like uh, that I can track my information, and I like that I know how I'm sleeping, how I'm not sleeping. I do better in some categories. I do worse than I thought in other categories, and I can take it to a medical practitioner. So sure. I really like what you're doing here, and I like that you take it a step further. You're talking about body mass, and it's really getting into all these things about you, and it's personalizing it, which is what I think that all that information can do. Because everybody, I think what we're learning is everybody really is different, completely different, and Absolutely. reacts to all sorts of different things differently. So I think it's great. Yeah, I appreciate that. And, and, and to your point, there is a lot of data. We actually collect over 35 data points about the way the user eats, sleeps, and moves. Um, but we're not putting the burden of analysis on the user to figure out what all that data means to their health. So we're not telling the user you did X number of steps or ate X number of calories. Instead, we're saying, this is what you need to do in order to, accomp in order to achieve your health goal. This is how the foods you're eating are affecting your health or the activities you're doing or you're sleeping or uh, X number of factors are affecting your health. So we're really trying to take the burden of analysis away from the user and pr provide actionable insights directly to the user so they're not overwhelmed by this data. It's, it's really awesome. How did you get involved with the company? Did you start it? Yeah, so actually it started almost five years as a just a self-imposed challenge. Five years, how hard is that? I mean, you got to be so patient. I don't have those kinds of patience. Uh, it, it's been tough, it's been tough. So it, it actually started as a project between myself and my dad. It was a self-imposed challenge. That must be fun. Is it fun working with your it dad? Was, it's a lot of fun. My, my dad and I are extremely close. He's a practicing cardiologist, so it was kind of a fun project for us to work on beginning. And five years ago, there wasn't really a wearables category. So we were kind of working off our own uh, passion for the project and, and kind of seeing where it would take us. And as soon as we started to see the implications of the technology, this c comprehensive and cohesive health tool that it is now it was formed. It took five years to do it. You had to be patient. Is it hard working with your dad at all? Uh, you know, sometimes there are disagreements, but uh, again, we're really close and we really enjoy working together. And we've, we've done it so we kind of define our roles. As a practicing cardiologist, I always defer to him on you know, the health side, the health change algorithms. And, I, and I think it must be very helpful to have somebody who's in that space. Oh, it's extremely uh, helpful. Helping you out and, and helping you figure out how to make it work. What about you? What's your background? How yeah, did so you get into like doing this? Yeah, so my background is actually in entrepreneurship. Uh, so I went to the Kelly School of Business at Indiana University. Okay. And I was a finalist for uh, a, an award called the Young Entrepreneurship Award through the state of Indiana. Then I was the president of a marketing company right after I graduated college. And then uh, about a year and a half ago, I started working on Stone Crisis full time. So entrepreneurship's always been in my blood and I've always loved running and figuring out what grows businesses. How, how were you able to be so patient uh, especially in the beginning when you know you have such a great idea. Yeah, so it was very, very difficult. I think something that really allowed me to be patient and uh, it's nothing that I did, it's just that I was in, I, I'm 24, so I was still in school back then. Uh, so I had other things I had to be focused on so I could kind of be working on 
school and, and everything I had going on simultaneously, which allowed me to not just put so much attention on Stone Crisis and allowed me to have kind of have that patience to uh, make sure it was the perfect product because we really wanted to deliver value to our to our users. Very, very nice. I I'm really impressed with what you've done here and your dad must be so proud. <laughs> Talk about startups and how hard it is and what advice you have for them. I mean, it's extremely challenging. So we have a very small team. It's myself, my dad, and we have a PhD computer scientist. Uh, yeah. But I'm the only one who's working on full time. Who's so. doing the engineering? So we, we're working with an electrical engineer and design okay. firm based out of Taiwan. Uh, so we've been working on with them for almost four years, uh, developing the, the, the wearable technology, the wearable piece of it. Uh, but entrepreneurship, it, it's really tough. You know, you see in the movies and the TV shows, the kind of the glamorous sides of things, but it can be isolating. It's it's uh, mentally challenged, mentally straining, but. There's, there's high peaks and low valleys, but the high peaks is make it, wor make what, it worth what it. What is your advice to entrepreneurs? I would say uh, be persistent and never give up. There, you're, there's going to be a lot of bad news that comes your way, uh, but just push through it, and there's always good news on the other side if you keep working hard. You know, I, I just say sometimes, I, you know, when, I mean, we've got a lot of things we do. We're a startup. We work really right. hard. We've got a great crew, Adam, Peter, Chris. We're all busting our tails here. And you know, you get here and we get to um, the convention center, we did the first two days at the convention center and fire marshal came around and had it, made us take our top off and yeah. we, we had this great uh, location and it was ridiculous. Our top is easy up, we have a great relationship with them, it's fire retardant, we use it all over convention centers, all over the place, but they made us take our top off. Sure. Okay, my thing, that's life. Right, And exactly. we had this great location, great visibility, So it w and we still did a great show and it was phenomenal. Um, but you know we have you, you just have to deal with things that sometimes could but you know if you just say that's life and move on you're good absolutely so what do you think of CES it's amazing this is my first time here uh, first time exhibiting but also the first time attending uh, it's it's amazing the scale and the amount of innovation that's not only in this room but in the convention center as well it's 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 really amazing to see everything everyone's doing well we have a lot of kids who are young watching in school i mean they can probably really resonate from you kids in, in high schools throughout the country, including in Englewood uh, in, and in California. Um, I'm going to give them a little plug and a shout out. <laughs> Guys, we love you. Uh, let me see what schools they are. But what about them when they're thinking about their creative projects? Should they get into robotics now? They're really uh, working on STEM. What do they need to do at that age? And, and what did you do? Yeah. And I'm talking about County Prep High School and uh, High Tech High School. And uh, they're, they're amazing, these guys. Yeah, absolutely. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey, guys. So what I would say is find something that you're interested in and passionate about um, and that you, know, you can cultivate a, an experience that allows you to keep learning and keep building on, uh, upon the, the skills and the tasks that you're, that you're doing. Um, so I would say don't try and force yourself to like one thing because, again, entrepreneurship is, can be extremely mentally challenging. So if you don't enjoy what you're doing, it's very easy to burn out. So find what you're passionate about. And, and also I think in that, I think that's very good advice, but I think also is know about everything so Absolutely. that um, when you're asking other people to do it or asking for help as you go along, because you will need help. Absolutely. And don't be afraid to ask people for help. Absolutely. But when you, when you do that, you need to know what you're asking people for and what your expectations are and all that. And, and so, you know, know a little bit about everything. Yeah, I'd say explore as many opportunities as you can find. Try and get your hands into everything so you and can figure out what you like. Especially because you're going to have to wear a lot of hats. Like, you're going to have oh, to do yeah. the graphic design in the beginning and the website and the this and the everything. that and the tweeting. And, yeah, and, and if you don't do it, it's not going to get done, so. Your stuff is shipping in February. Right. Uh, people can buy it next week. What's the website? It's stonecrisis.com and stonecrisis is S-T-O-N-E-C-R-Y-S-U-S.com. Now you got your, did your dad fund it in the beginning? Was it friends and family? How, what's your funding Yeah, situation? so we, we've raised just friends and family. We've been extremely lean, um, which has allowed us to, to build the product our way. So we've raised friends and family, um, uh, additional cardiologists. So uh, initially when we started the project, we saw the implications in medical offices and we're, we're still pursuing that avenue. We have a web-based dashboard where practitioners can review and access and monitor the 35 data points we collect. Um, but so yeah, just friends and family and uh, keeping it lean, but uh, now we'll look to pursue investment opportunities. How much is it? It's going to be one forty nine ninety nine one time fee for for uh, the wearable, all the wearing accessories, the app, and the web based dashboard. Very nice, very reasonable price. I like it. One forty nine. It's Stone Crisis. StoneCrisis.com. Absolutely. Ships in February. Buy it next week. Matt, you were great. Thank you so much. We're going to do a full tech review on it. Absolutely. And then Love show that. our viewers that, and then we're going to have you back on from our live daily show. Starts again Monday. Live every day of the week, four p.m. Perfect. Michael Arts' show. We have guests in studio and via Skype, so we'll have you on again. That'll be great. Can't wait. Thanks so much. Thanks very much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you thanks for your for time, and uh, thanks for showing up here at your live continuing CES coverage on Be Terrific. I'm Michael Arts. We'll be back with a whole lot more right after this. Don't go anywhere. We've got a really great guest coming up next.
the guests just keep getting better and better and better and keep coming. Matt was amazing. StoneCrisis.com. You can't wait for the next one, I promise. Quick commercial break. We'll be back right after this.